Hi everybody, welcome to Tech Grow Stocks channel. Today I talk about the best momentum stocks in the internet sector. This has been a way hot sector recently or as of today, as of this year. It had a so strong performance like around 50%. So I think it's an excellent momentum sector and I will cover the best momentum stocks in this sector. So guys, check this episode out. I think there could be some stocks for you. And please guys, don't forget, these, this video is only for entertainment purposes. So it does not um, constitute financial advice. Okay guys, so let's start off. Let's look at the NASDAQ a little bit. And then we, talk, we will talk about the best in the internet momentum place. Okay, so let's have a look at the NASDAQ. Okay, here we can see the short, shorter term chart of the NASDAQ and as we can see currently we are topping a little bit and um, in the last days we pulled back from, um, yeah, we pulled back quite, uh, quite strongly. So now we are looking, we are just days ahead to, uh, of the US election and the corona pandemic um, is uh, growing or the case numbers are growing strongly so that's that's the reason for the current pullback and also um, in the US we do not have that um, state aid package um, so this this is what the market is not li liking at the moment okay guys that's it for the Nasdaq um, we can see we are pulling back and I think now it could be a good time to buy or to at least look at strong momentum stocks and at the strongest uh, momentum sectors and uh, this is what I cover in this video I cover the, the strongest momentum sector as of now the, which is the uh, internet sector and um, there will be other parts I will make six parts I have already one part it's a uh, it, the first part I cover NASDAQ momentum stocks please check that out um, in my playlist below the video or at the end of the video and also I will cover more sectors I will cover biotech the biotech sector tech software sector tech semiconductor sector um, the consumer discretionary sector which has been very strong as well all these sectors have returns here to date of 20 percent or more so these are the best momentum sectors and I will cover in these sectors the best momentum plays. And I think it, now it's an exciting time to look at these sectors because we, the NASDAQ is pulling back, the market is pulling back and we can have attractive entry points in these high octane momentum plays. So guys, check these uh, check these episodes out, out episodes out, and don't forget to subscribe so that you do not mas miss any of the momentum series. Um, yeah, that you do not miss them. Okay, guys, so that's it for the intro. So let's start right off with the best internet momentum stocks. The first stock is ZM. Zoom video communications. Here you can see the longer term chart of Zoom, and we can see yeah, last year in April it had its IPO, and after that it built a an IPO base, and this year let's say around March broke out from that IPO base and went to a into a strong uptrend. You can see here in the shorter term chart the uptrend and the topping phase, the current topping phase. I mean Zoom was at 587 and now it's at 460. So it's like, um, so we dropped more than 20% we, in Zoom. I think this could be maybe soon a, an attractive entry point, especially when we, if we could bounce from one of these moving averages here. Yeah? As, or I'm looking for the 50 day moving average, which is that one. And this would be around 446. So that's what I think that could be a good entry. Yeah, and Zoom Video Communications has excellent growth characteristics, a strong EPS growth of nearly 1,800%, a super, soft, super strong sales growth of 262%, and a super strong relative strength rating of 99. So it's a top internet momentum play. It's it's a leading, it's a way leading tech growth stock. So check that stock out. Maybe it could be a fit for you. 
And by the way, the Zoom video communications is in my strategy, my best long-term tech growth talk strategy. I will make a link. You can look at under the video. Where I have a link where you can follow the performance of that strategy. Or I will make a link in the future where you can follow the performance. And this, um, yeah. And also it was a holding in my Tech Growth Talks daily strategy. I have a link for the performances of that strategy below the video. Yeah, check these strategies out. Maybe there are some stocks for you. Okay guys, so Zoom video communication. It's the first uh, internet momentum stock. The next is OSTK Overstock. Here you can see the longer term chart of Overstock. We had a sideways downtrend and this year we could break out of that downtrend around may and we went into a strong uptrend and you can see this year low was around um, 280 to yeah, 260 and now we and the high was at 120 so this is a so strong momentum breakout here or momentum move i mean this is really 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 strong in the short term chart you see that strong momentum up move and then the breakdown yeah and now we came back from 128 and we are at 56 so i think this stock can be risky as of now but still we should follow it and continue to follow its base building and i think at some point may it could continue its up its uptrend i, I mean it's in a hot sector as well it's in the internet retail sector which has been quite hot recently yeah, the gross characteristics, the EPS growth is not that good. It's, it's currently minus 145%. But the sales growth is quite strong, 53%. And the relative strength rating is super strong with 98. So I think it's a very good internet momentum play. Okay, guys, that's it for Overstock. And the next stock is SEC. Yeah, here you can see the longer term chart of C and it's in a strong, strong uptrend. Yeah, just going up Yeah, since 2019. Yeah, before you see, yeah, it was a recent IPO. It had a sideways move and yeah, then it had built the, that strong uptrend. And in the short term chart, we see the strong uptrend. And now we are pulling back to the 50 day moving average. I think that could soon could be an attractive entry point. And especially uh, C did not um, yeah, co uh, correct much, not so much. So I think it's a strong stock. Yeah. C has uh, the gross characteristics EPS growth is not that good. It's minus 17%, but the sales growth is super strong with 103%. And the relative strength rating is also super strong with 98. So it's a top communication services and internet stock and a top momentum play. Yeah. Okay, guys, that's it for C. Now we check out the next stock and the next stock is the next internet stock internet momentum stock is SHOP Shopify. Yeah, here you can see the longer term chart of Shopify since its IPO in 2000, uh, 2015. First you can see it built its IPO base and in July 2016 it broke out from that IPO base and went into a strong uptrend with some basis yeah but a really a strong uptrend and now we are topping a little bit or we can say yeah it looks like it wants to build a base shopify we are currently we are at the lower end of the base yeah but i think yeah soon there could be an attractive entry point for shopify yeah shopify has excellent eps growth of 584 percent a super strong sales growth of 72% and a super strong relative strength rating of 97. So I think Shopify is a top internet momentum stock and together with Zoom Video, I think a top pick for internet momentum, for, for internet momentum stock. Okay guys, that's it for Shopify. Let's have a look at the next top uh, or at the next internet momentum stock. Yeah, here you can see why well, it is DOCU, DOCU sign. 
here you can see the longer term chart of DocuSign. Yeah. First, it builds it. It built its, its IPO base, and it broke out from that. Let's say around September 2019, and went into a strong uptrend. Here we can see the short, short to term uptrend, and then and recently we went into a sideways move. Looks like it wants to build a base, and now we are going to the lower end of the base. Yeah, the the gross characteristics of Doku are the EPS growth is not that good. It's minus seven percent. The sales growth is strong with forty two percent, and the relative strength rating is very strong as well with ninety six. So Doku is a top uh, tech momentum software play. Yeah, in the internet space. So check that stock out. I think of it could be a, an attractive one. Okay, guys, that's it for Doku. Let's have a look at the next internet momentum stock, and it is W Wayfair. Yeah, here you can see the longer term chart of Wayfair. And you can see, yeah, this year we had a strong, strong breakout in March, yeah, and it uh, it dropped like crazy, yeah, before let's say it was, yeah. Let's say start of the year it was around 100 and then it dropped to 28 and from 28 it multiplied strongly to up to 344 so it's like a 10 times move more 11 11 to 12 times move so strong yeah this move in the short term chart you can see the strong up move and now recently we have been consolidating and building it looks like it could build the base and now we are at the lower end of the base yeah Wayfair Wayfair's growth characteristics are the EPS growth is sluggish with minus 104 percent the sales growth is strong with 52 percent and the relative strength rating is good with 95 it's a good internet retail stock and I and I think it's a top internet uh, momentum play. Okay, that's it for Wayfair. The next internet momentum stock is ETSY. Okay, here we can see the longer term chart of ETSY, and we can see let's say around since 2017 we are in an uptrend, but this year we had a strong breakdown. Yeah. With a, together with a with a pandemic, with a Corona pandemic, and also last year, um, Etsy was a little bit sluggish yeah, in the performance, in the stock performance. So it was in a sideways down, little downtrend. And but this year we could, um, after the March low, we could break out of that downtrend strongly and move into an uptrend again. In the short term chart, we see that uptrend. And recently we uh, we have been yeah, it looks like it wants to build a base we broke out here but now we can't come back into the base yeah Etsy has excellent growth characteristics a super strong EPS growth of 191 percent a strong sales growth of 86 percent and a strong relative strength rating of 95 it is a top internet retail stock and a top internet momentum play. I think it's it's a very good stock. Okay, guys, that's it for Etsy. Now let's check out the next internet momentum stock, and it is SNAP Snap. Yeah, here we can see Snapchat after its um, yeah debut. IPO debut in 2017 and we can see in the longer term chart yeah, it moved downwards had a strong downtrend yeah and the yeah in two, end of 2018 it made it made it slow at around five and after that it went to an uptrend and um, yeah this year this year we had a strong yeah breakdown from around 20 to um, yeah, seven or let's say eight dollar um, with the March low, and then after that we could break out of that low uh, of that down move, could break out in May and move into an uptrend. 
quite re here we see the short term chart yeah in an uptrend and quite recently we had a strong earnings breakout so strong yeah? and this uh, by the way guys the snapchat is a key holding in my best long-term tech growth stocks equity strategy and in that strategy i have that holding you can monitor the performance as said i will make links below and um yeah and i'm up 50 percent in that stock because i had it before the earnings and now it's up 50 percent yeah. Okay, guys, that's Snapchat. Um, yeah, the growth characteristics are the EPS growth is not that good at the moment, 4%. The sales growth is strong with 35%, and the relative strength rating is also quite strong with 96 So I think it's a top stock. And also, guys, yeah, it's just starting its run, yeah. So it's, uh, let's say, it's a, it's been a not too old IPO, and I think that stock that has strong potential. And it's, yeah, and as I said, it's a top internet momentum stock. Okay, everybody, that's it for Snap. Let's have a look at the next internet momentum stock. And it is STMP, Stamps. Yeah, here we can see the longer term chart of Stamps. We had, here we had an uptrend and then, uh, in 2018 we moved into a strong downtrend and we had here gap downs uh, like serial gap downs which is not a, not a good sign for a strong stock but after that low in 2019 we went again into an up uptrend and now we are in an uptrend for stamps which is quite good yeah? and he, recently in the recent recently we can see we had here the uptrend we went higher we broke up uh, we made the high in 7th of August and since then we have been yeah, consolidating and we are trying to build a base now, it looks like. Now we are at the lower end of the base here and yeah, I think it could be a, an attractive point now for stamps. Yeah, the strengths had has excellent growth characteristics, a super strong EPS growth of 139%, a strong sales growth of 30%, and a strong relative strength rating of 95. So it's a top tech internet software stock and a top internet momentum stock. Okay, everybody, that's it for stamps. Let's have a look at the last top internet momentum stock and it is ZG Zillow group yeah, here you can see the longer term chart of Zillow and we can see yeah, it, it's it was it's quite volatile stock yeah and this year we could break out of that volatile sideways movement and go into a less let's say less volatile um, uptrend yeah the short term chart we see that uptrend and um, we made a high at October 5 and since then we have been declining so I think the, it's an interesting stock yeah but um, yeah we should we should look for some base building yeah yeah Zillow has uh, excellent growth characteristics a uh, strong EPS goes of 72% a super strong sales goes of 88% and a strong relative strength rating of 96. So it's a top internet communication services stock. And it's a top internet momentum stock. Okay, guys, that's it for Zillow. And, and it was the last stock of my top internet momentum stocks. Yeah, check these stocks out. Maybe there are some fits for you. And um, yeah. And also, guys, uh, please don't forget to subscribe because I make more see, uh, more videos for the momentum stocks, for the best internet momentum stocks, and I will cover the thing. Yeah, as said today, I covered the internet momentum stocks. And later, I will cover the biotech momentum stocks. I will cover the tech semiconductor in an, uh, tech semiconductor momentum stocks. I will cover the tech software momentum stocks. Then I will have about the medical devices momentum stocks, one video and the consumer discretionary momentum stocks. And all these sectors had the bad, had this, uh, the bad, had very strong year to date performances. So these are the current momentum sectors. 
and of these momentum sectors I will cover the best momentum stocks so these are the stocks I think which could uh, multiply many many times like we saw in the charts and I think um, these are the stocks to focus on yeah guys so don't forget to subscribe um, and I will put and also look at my other videos I have uh, my other strategies the best long-term tech growth stock strategy or the um, tech growth stocks daily strategy yeah and guys thank you for watching and um, yeah see you soon again and uh, take care